Hi children, welcome back to English class. I am Sabitha Joseph, your English teacher. I hope you all are studying well. Now we are discussing the lesson 3, uh, different Diwali. Last day we discussed prepositions. Today let's discuss about adverbs. Adverbs of manner and adverbs of time. Let us start today's class, page number 32. So children, on the board you can see two sentences which are they. I speak loudly. I speak loudly. Can you identify the verb in the sentence? Yes. What is the action verb in the sentence? That is speak. Speak. That is the action verb or verb in this sentence. Okay. You can see another word just near to the verb that is loudly. So this word describes the main verb. Isn't it? This word describes or modify the verb speak. Which means how I speak. I speak loudly. Okay. So this is known as adverb. So adverb modifies or describes the main verb. Next one. Agil writes neatly. Agil writes neatly. How he writes? Yes, he writes neatly. Here the verb is write. Write is the action word. And this word modifies or describes this main verb writes. So this word is known as adverb. So children, adverbs are words. They are used to describe or modify the main verb. Or it all sometimes modifies the adjectives or any other adverbs. Okay, so shortly, adverbs are the words that describes the main verb or action verbs. Okay, now children, open your textbook, page number 32. Read these sentences. Thank you for the lovely tea, said Nima shyly. Next sentence, Nima shirked excitedly. Okay, so here you can see two words, they are in bold letters, which are they? Shyly and excitedly. See children, these words are known as adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner tell how people do things. Okay, adverbs of manner tell us how people do things. In the first sentence we can see, Thank you for the lovely tea, said Nima shyly. How did she say that sentence? Yes, shyly. Okay, next sentence. Nima shirked excitedly. How Nima shirked? Yes, she shirked excitedly. So, the words shyly and excitedly tell us how the person did something, isn't it? Okay, how Nima said the sentence, shyly. How Nima shirked? Excitedly. Okay, they answer the question, how? Here also you can see two sentences which are there. I opened the door hurriedly. How did I open the door? Hurriedly. Okay, I opened the door hurriedly. Next, she spoke softly. How did she speak? Yes, she spoke softly. Here also these two persons, these two people doing something like I opened the door. That is the action I did. How did I open the door? Yes, hurriedly. Okay, next sentence. She spoke softly. How she spoke? Yes, she spoke softly. So, these two words also, hurriedly and softly tell us how the person did something. Okay, we usually add ly to an adjective to form an adverb of manner. Here you can see, we added, see, hurried plus ly Soft 
as ly softly so usually we add ly with the word to make it adverbs of manner okay so you can see another examples from the same textbook shy plus ly shyly excited plus ly excitedly okay see children sometimes the spellings of words ending with y change when we add ly to them see children on the board we can see some words which is added with ly and we get the adverbs of manner see the first one loud plus ly that is loudly okay so the loudly next one quick plus ly quickly so both these words spelling never changes when we add ly see loud okay we just added ly next word quick quick and we just added ly so the spelling never changes but see in these words let's see what will happen angry plus ly angrily is there any spelling changes yes this y changed into i see the actual word is the first base word is angry a n g r y but when we add ly to make it adverb the y changes into i c a n g r i l y angrily see the next one pretty plus ly prettily is there is any changes in the spelling yes here also the ending letter is y so we change this y into i so the spelling become p r e d t i l y this pretty changed into prettily so when we add ly we added ly but the ending letter if it is y it will change if there is no y no problem but if the word ending with the letter y we will change it into i okay here you can see some words we have to make the adverbs of manner first word is happy plus ly see here we can see the ending letter is y is it so we have to change this y into i then how it become yes it become happily we should avoid this y and we have to add i because the ending letter is y so we have to change it into i next word is easily here also we can see the ending letter is y so we have to change this y into i then how it become yes it become e a s i l y easily change this y into i because the ending letter is y next word is late late plus l y how it become yes it will become lately should we have to change the spelling no the ending letter is e so we should not change it. if the ending letter is y only we have to change it into i l y okay so Uh, late plus ly, late l a t e l y. So the word never changes. The word late plus ly, late. Okay. Next one, patient plus ly. Should we have to change the spelling? No. The ending letter is t. It's not y. So it will become the same sentence like patient, patient. Yes, L Y patiently. Okay, so happy plus L Y happily, easy plus L Y easily, late plus L Y lately, patient plus L Y patient. So these are the adverbs of manner. So adverbs of manner tell us how people do things. Okay, so these words we can see how people doing some actions. she played happily okay 
He did the work easily. He came to the school lately. He talked to him patiently. So these are some actions and these shows, these words shows how the person is doing the action or doing something. Okay, now let us see some other examples for adverbs of manner. Loudly. Example, the audience laughed loudly. How did the audience laugh? Yes, the audience laughed loudly. Quietly. Please speak quietly when you are in the library. You have to speak quietly. How do you have to speak in the library? Yes, please speak quietly. Carefully. Kelly drives carefully. How did Kelly drive? Kelly drives carefully. Politely. The boy asked politely for some more candy. How did the boy ask? Yes, the boy asked politely. So these words are also known as the adverbs of manner. Now let's do the textual exercise. Page number 32. Match the words in A with the correct words in B. The first one is done for you. We must work hard, not lazily. Okay. So, work hard opposite is laziness. Okay. So, we must work hard, not lazily. Next sentence. We must chew softly. We must chew softly. But not noisily. Third one. We must play carefully. Not badly. No. Not rudely. No. Not dangerously. We must play carefully. Not dangerously. Children, find out the rest of the questions by yourself. And the keys will be given in the Google Classroom. You check it after doing this activity. Children, now we are going to discuss about the adverbs of time. Okay, so this adverbs of time tell us when an action takes place. They will answer the question when. Okay, so from this sentences, let's find out the adverbs of manner. It is very easy, children. Look at the board. First sentence. Go and play now, said Tingu's mother. So, Tingu's mother told Nima and Tingu, go and play now. Is she telling them to play tomorrow or day after tomorrow? No, she is telling them to play. Yes, now. This now shows our time, isn't it? Yes, you play now. Go and play now. So, this word now is adverbs of time. See the next sentence. There will be dancing tonight. There will be dancing tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. Next week. No. Tonight. So this sentence answering the question when. When is the dancing? There will be dancing tonight. Okay. So this one is also adverbs of Time. Next one. I saw John today. I saw John today. Where did I see John? Yes, I saw him today. Not yesterday, not tomorrow. I saw him today. So today is also an adverb of time. Okay, she also says about the time when I saw John. Okay, I saw him today. Next, I will call you tomorrow. So, this sentence is also answering the question, when? When I will call you? Yes, I will call you tomorrow. Okay, so this word is also adverbs of time. So, you can see all these underlined words says when the action takes place. Here, go and play. This is an action will take place now. Now is the time. Okay. In the next sentence, there will be dancing tonight. Dancing is an action. Okay. So that will be happen today. Tonight. Okay. In the next sentence, I saw John today. 
so here so is the action when i saw him i saw him i saw john today next i will call you so call is an action isn't it so when i call you i call you tomorrow so all these words are adverbs of time okay so this adverbs of time tells when an action eh? when an action takes place okay it always adds in the question when okay children there are some other adverbs of time is there then today yesterday late tomorrow etc so let us see some more examples related to these adverbs of time let's see that examples on the screen okay adverbs of time are adverbs that tell us about when something happened or will happen okay now example i am eating now then example i'll see you then today example he went to work today tomorrow example my parents will arrive tomorrow yesterday example chris fell over yesterday early example i sometimes get up very early now let us do the next exercise page number 33 c underline the words that answer the question when okay so you have to underline the words which answer the questions when sentence 1 i will come back next year so if we ask the question when will you come back the answer will be next year like that you have to find out the words which answer the question when sentence 2 our grandparents are leaving tonight if we ask the question when will your grandparents leave the answer is tonight so tonight is the adverb of time so we have to underline the word tonight sentence 3 it rained heavily yesterday if we ask the question when it is rained heavily we'll get the answer that is yesterday so yesterday is an adverb of time like that children find out the words that answer the question when by yourself let's discuss the speaking session from page number 35 read these sentences we must count our blessings you should be careful i have to wait here till father returns when it is necessary or important to do something we use should and must we can also use have to children here you can see some words are in bold letters can you read it yes must should have to see children these three words we use to show something necessary or important to do we use should and must we also use have to if you are telling to someone that is necessary or very important to do you can use these three words okay for example you must go to the hospital you should do the work you have to complete your notes children we use these words must should and have to when it is necessary or important to do something okay just read and understand this session children i hope you all understood today's class today we learned adverbs of manner adverbs of time and we also discussed the speaking session from our textbook do the text exercise and study well we'll meet next day until then take care and bye